have to excuse the volume. We're not shy about our music in this joint. It's only for me anyway. Right, well, what we've done is we've taken out the... <laughs> I just realised how it looks. Okay, so... <laughs> we've taken the uh, electric motor out. It was a bit of a bugger to get out because I had to kind of inch it and tip it over from my own mount. <laughs> so I kind of understand sometimes when they make engine mounts that sometimes you just basically got to get the plumbing thing in and that's it. But uh, not if these guys are paid like thousands of pounds and given a year to design these things. I designed and built that in a day so you know they can get lost still. Anyway, <laughs> got our motor out and so now what we're going to do is refashion stuff down here to basically have something, uh, I don't know, sort of not similar to this. These mounts here, right, I've got the whole spacing obviously pretty perfect there in the uh, <coughs> in the mounts because that's what it was mounted on. So I can use that now as a template. And what I'll probably do is just fashion uh, two of those on a frame like that so that it, fall, it drops down, down here. So if you look at the H-frame that I've got there, but just have it here, across that way, and with those mounts down there, coming off the actual frame bar itself, this way sort of thing, one there and one there, just making the right spacing, because we've got, we've got the fastenings that are under here, which is what went in there in the first place, but we've also got ones on the top here, you see, so we can have it on either side of the motor. You see, and then it'll just suspend the motor 